Hi all and welcome, my name is Ivan and for today's video I am going to install NeoBeam CMP plugin. So the first of all you have to find this GitHub project NVIM CMP and here you have a setup recommended configuration. Then let's open our terminal and jump directly in NeoVim folder. I found a nice way how you can get there. CD, then env, updata. And immediately jumped in the update roaming. But you don't need this directory. Move back, then local, then NeoVim. If you don't have this directory, it means that you have not watched my previous episodes about NeoVim. And if so, go there and do so because they give you a lot of knowledge about the basic NeoVim configuration and Vim configuration also. In those videos, I installed the Parker, I configured the basic things in Vim and also explained all of these things. Okay, then from this directory, let's open the Vim, init.lua and vim init lua. Here we have a Packer setup. Let's mark it like CMP, the completion engine. Then open back. And here you see a lot of options, a lot of plugins that used by completion engine and vim CMP. But I don't need all of them. What I do need, I need this one. This is initial configuration. So use, then requires, and it requires a couple of plugins. Which one? I need this. All of these plugins describe sources which CMP can use to get the proper competition helpers. So CMP and Vim LSP is an adapter for language server protocol. And the LSP gives to your competition plugin a lot of information about your code base, especially the proper method names, field names, and a lot of knowledge about your code base and the current file. So we really need that because it's based on the semantic of your language. Then CMP buffer reads your current buffer, the current file, and getting the text information from this file and then gives this information directly to completion plugin. And then you can use it like a text. CMP path get information about your paths and provide it to your completion plugin. So, and the last one is Lua snippets, because for some of your completion helps, you want to use snippets, because snippets make your life easier, right? You type a couple of characters and Lua snip unwraps them in a huge block of code, which is usually quite repetitive code block. Okay, and now all of them here. NVIM, LSP, Buffer, Path, and Lua Snippets. Okay, now save and close. And open again, and Parker install. Done. Close, and now we are ready to set up them. Move back and see this configuration. Yes, it looks huge and complex, but in the practice it's really well made and nice configuration file that CMP provides to you. I'm going to initialize a couple of variables. Okay, I initialized a couple of variables and now I'm going to initialize the setup for our CMP plugin. First of all, I initialize the snippets and here I use the Lua snippets LSP expand. That's pretty much it. Continue. Sources. Here I initialized a couple of sources. The first one, path, then nvim lsp, then buffer and lua snips. Okay, and the order does matters here because when you set up this order, the pass is first, the nvim lsp second, buffer third, and the snippet the last one. And the keyword length means if it's equal three, then please show me the buffer completion helpers. If the keyword is length equal two, so please show me the lua snippets. Okay, then continue. Here, the window option. 
I want to have the documentation window bordered because it's easy to find on a screen. Some of your completion helpers comes from standard libraries or from third-party libraries and there they have a good documentation and completion helper shows this documentation. So for that, I want to see this documentation in a bordered window because it's easy to separate from the completion helper. So, and here formatting. And formatting formats your completion helper. Here we have a field, three fields. This is three columns. First of all, the menu specified the sources for Navi MLSP LSP, Lua Snip Snip or Buffer Buff for Path Path. And then goes the abbreviation, and abbreviation means the name of your method fields or whatever. And the third one is kind, that could be field, method, or text, and uh, etc. Okay, then continue. And the next one after the formatting, and the last one, is a mapping. And here, the first of all, control plus E, I want to use like a board command. Then enter, I want to use like a confirm command. And then I need two of them to move around my my completion items. For that I'm going to use stop and shift up. But here I specified the function where I can check that CMP is visible. If so, then select the next item with the select options. And if it's not visible, so please fall back this event uh, directly to the other candlers. And then the mode when I'm going to use that. Then the next one is a shift up and here the same function, but please select the previous item. And if it's not visible, the CMP, so the fallback command. And in addition, I use the two more for move around the documentation, because sometimes the documentation takes more than one page, sometimes a couple of pages with the code examples and etc. So for that, I'm using the very convenient keys, the control J and control K. And then, because I'm using the CMP visible or not, even despite of their popularity, because you're using J and K to move around your Vim lines, I still think it breaks nothing because I'm using this function. So, and it's very convenient when you use that. That's all. In a nutshell, we have this setup. We have snippets, we have sources, all of this quite important, right? Then we have some rendering configuration. It could be more here not only documentation, but we can uh, set how we're gonna render the normal window with the code helpers. Formatting. In the formatting, we are setting up how to present the completion helpers and in which format, uh, in which order, because we can reorder that. And you can do the order how you want to have it. And the last one, this mappings, they describe which commons do you use and what they do for you. For example, the abort or confirm. That's it. So save and exit and open back. Nothing is broken. So it means it works. Okay. There is an error in my configuration. And the error hides in this function for moving around the documentation. We don't need this word mapping because in CMP we are already inside of the mapping. So remove this word and save the project. And here is now white. I'm going to open with NeoVim, the cargo, Tomol, as a startup file. Then I'm going to open the font loader. And here you have to wait a little bit until the LSP has been started. And here you see the function has a couple of parameters, the key and skia font. And I'm going to use the key. Key, and you immediately see the code helpers. The first column is the menu, which describes our source type then, in this case, LSP or buffer. And in the middle, you see the abbreviation or the name of your code helper. And in the third column, you see the kind or type, the variable, struct, or just text. Then press the dot, and now you see a lot of helps from LSP. Then you can press tap, 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 and move down. And then if you press shift up, you move up, shift up. And for some of these parameters, you see the documentation on the right side. And for example, for this, we can press the control J and scroll down. 
and see some a couple of examples with the basic usage of it. Then press Ctrl K and move up, J K, shift up, move up, move bottom with stop, and all of this works. If you want to add more configuration, use help for CMP. Here scroll down, read it, check the proper mappings, maybe do you need some of them, and use and enjoy. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, good luck with your Vim configuration, remember, my name is Ivan. See you next time.